Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and this is AG vs. AD, the series where I take inspiration from a celebrity's home featured on Architectural Digest and implement that into a small space on a budget with an AG twist. I'm for once ready to shoot. This has been painting with AG. It's pretty luck. Are we innovators? High five! Did you like my wing? Today I am tackling an Emma Chamberlain inspired living room. I'm so excited about this makeover. When Emma's architectural digest video popped up online, it was everywhere. Her quirky style is so inspiring and her home is just different. We haven't really seen anything like it before. It has 9 million views. So I knew that you guys probably wanted to see a makeover in this style as well. Today we're helping roommates Elena and Will make over their living room. I'm gonna get on a call with Elena to chat about what's working in the space and what's not. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? It's so nice to meet you. What's your dog's name? This is Juno. I just got home, so she's very excited. She just turned one. She's like full of energy. She's still a puppy. I can't imagine her never having that like puppy personality, so. That's why she's so excited. <laughs> your space is so unique, that window behind you. Oh, I know. This call is really just to get to know you and your style and what's working for you in your space and what's not working for you and how are you using it like on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's definitely like the hub of our home. Right when you come in the front door, it's like the space that you first walk into. So it's like partly an entryway for us. It's like our living space. We entertain here. So it's our most used space. It like also connects a lot of other rooms in the house. So it's a very busy space. I noticed how many doors there are in the space. I was looking at the before photos. And I'm like, this is going to be a challenge, like a good challenge, but still a challenge. It's a lot, yeah. Especially with the entryway, like everything is kind of just like piled up there and it's like a hallway. We don't really have any like closed storage space. So other than my bedroom closet, there's no other closet on this floor to like stash things away. We do have like a hook rack for coats. We try to minimize the amount of stuff that's there. Right. But like the dog leash, her harness, hats, mitts. It's definitely a challenge, but I think it's a challenge that like a lot of people face, you know? Oh, totally. <laughs> so your TV wall, I love what you did with the shelves. Super cute. Just to confirm, your TV's on a swivel, right? Yes. Every day we like swivel it towards the couch. The layout you have, correct me if I'm wrong, actually like works pretty functionally. It's really the only layout that does, like especially because double doors, like we cannot have a couch there, but it's pretty functional in terms of like where our main things are laid out. I know you have a couple chairs. I'm assuming you use those for when people come over. Right now we have like our couch and then we have two other chairs, but I mean, it's not super comfortable. Like one is very wobbly. The other one is Juno's chair. Honestly, she like lives in it. So it's a bit mismatched and- Not comfy. Not comfy. <laughs> Like I said, we just spend so much time in here. Like we watch TV in here. We like have like game nights here. I like the idea of having like enough seating for people to hang out and just relax and like have our TV nights and you know, things like that. Let's talk about info. You applied for the Emma Chamberlain inspired makeover. I'd love to know why you're drawn to her style and why you applied for this one specifically. I mean, I loved the video when I saw it come out. Like her kitchen is like my dream, but I think in general, like it feels very cozy and like lived in. There's a lot of really cool shapes, like a lot of rounded edges, a lot of like natural woods and things like that. It's not very serious, like it's fun, but it's not too like mature. I think that's just like a thing that my roommate and I both really liked about the space. I love that. I definitely approach design that way. It's like you want it to look grown up, but you want it not to feel like a museum. You want to be able to like lounge in your space and be comfortable and cozy and warm. Yeah. Um, colors. What color? do you love? What colors do you not like? Greens in general. Our wall, we did paint it green. It's like a pretty muted kind of green right now. Cool tones, I think generally. And like I said, like woods, we have a wood table, like kind of natural materials in general are sort of what we're drawn to. Okay, that's really helpful. I'm super excited because I have an idea of what we're going to do with it. And I think it's going to be really fun. I was like very excited to meet Elena and Graham. Like they were so nice. And I mean, I'm biased, but I have the best team. <laughs> We're gonna make your space really beautiful. I can't wait. Thank you so much. Have a great night. You too. Bye. Bye. 
So here's what I learned on that call. Elena and Will host a lot of game nights. They need a living room that's going to sit a lot of people. Elena has requested no white textiles, so no white rugs or cushions because they have a dog, Juno. Emma's home is filled with different styles, so many different materials. Here's what I'm drawn to and what I wanna bring into Elena and Will's home. Emma's space is filled with walnut and red toned woods. There's also lots of materials like cork and velvet. There's lots of soothing green colors, lots of plants, but everything is kind of quirky. All the accessories and furniture in Emma's home are standout pieces. And it's what makes her space really eclectic because she's kind of mixed all of these one of a kind pieces together. One thing I'm really excited about doing in Elena and Will's space is mixing and matching this kind of cool 70s style that Emma has going on with more modern pieces. I think why so many people are so excited about Emma's space is because Emma really made her own rules when it came to the internet and her channel, but also in her home as well. Who's making the rules? Me. Though I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit terrified because I've really never designed or decorated in this style, like ever. So here's what I'm thinking for the space. I knew right away that I wanted to divide the entryway area from the living room. I didn't want the coats that are hanging up on that wall to be directly behind a chair. I don't want them to be looking at jackets when they're playing board games. I really wanna add a shoe storage solution for them. So I want to enlist Graham to maybe take an Ikea Hemnes unit, maybe upcycle it and put a room divider behind it. I think that's really gonna break up the space and create a little entryway zone. This sofa from Article, I have had my eye on it as soon as it was new in. I think it is the perfect sofa. It's a standalone piece, it's bold, and I really feel like you would find this in Emma's living room. Same as the chairs. These are from Mobilia, and I just want the chairs, like the sofa, to be standout pieces. I want to put the chairs facing the sofa. This will create a conversation feel, and especially if they're gonna have games night, everyone's kind of anchored around the coffee table. Speaking of the coffee table, again, a standout out bold piece that is just quirky and fun. It's really durable. They can spread out on it, but it also looks super cool. In their entry right now, they have this green wall. I was actually gonna paint over it at first, but Elena and Will painted this green when they moved in. And I thought, you know what? I actually think it's gonna keep that divide between the entryway and the living room that I'm going for. And I feel like the green really works with the style we're going for. The fan, that should have been the first thing I mentioned because that fan has got to go. I wanna put in a more modern fixture. Emma has a lot of modern light fixtures in her space and I think it's gonna work really well playing off the more like 70s vibe we have going in the living room already. Let's talk about the rug. When I tell you that I sat with Alana for hours, Alana, how many hours? Too many. Too many hours and we were just going through page after page after page. When we found this rug, Alana and I both thought, this looks exactly like the rug in Emma's dining room. It has a vintage feel to it, but it pulls out those rusty red colors, the yellows, and I think it is perfect. For the room divider, we found these perforated doors that Kara Woodhouse Interiors made. They're kind of mid-century modern. I thought we could do something a bit similar in Elena and Will's living room. I'm gonna take a look at how it's coming along in the workshop and maybe even help Graham drill a hole or two. I say help, like, I'm not really helping. <laughs> you wanna say hi to the vlog? Yeah. yeah. Okay, bye, see you later. See you later. He loves hanging with the girls up here. To the workshop. My cinematographer. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at this rig. Oh, cool. This is how Graham is filming the overhead shots he does for everyone. Sorry. <laughs> Case update me. How's it going? Good. The grid took about two hours. Yeah, there's a lot of light. Yeah, and then what I did is just so we don't mess anything up because yeah. I just pre-drilled so that we know exactly where we need to go. Okay, I'm gonna try a couple. You always want to go backwards okay. before you go forwards because you see it, it tries to tear it up. Yeah. So it'll be like a very messy hole. You just make a little divot. Yeah. And then you just get like a nice clean border. Got it. Okay, cool. Let's score some holes. Done it. Oh, 
whole. It's a whole. I'm leaving the rest to the pro. Usually I'm like very willing, but this is the cool one. Yeah. While Graham continues to work on the DIY, Alana and I are headed to Jomo Studio in downtown Toronto, a plant store to shop for some plants. We are here together. <laughs> We are gathered here. We today. are gathered here wearing the same jacket. It is currently raining snow here in Toronto. There is a massive snowstorm and it feels very weird to be going to shop for plants, but here we are. The coolest thing about their business is they actually ship plants to all the provinces in Canada, which means that when you order from them online, your plant will arrive in one to two business days, which is amazing. They take so much care in the way they pack these plants. They're wrapped in this kind of thermal layer, which which keeps the plant really warm and toasty. I was just blown away at the quality of their, not only selection, but their knowledge. The pot comes with a little QR code. If you scan that QR code, all the plant care instructions pop up. They actually give you lifetime support for the plants that you buy from them. So if your plant isn't doing so well, or you have questions about how much to water it or where to place it, they will answer all of those questions. So they just set you up for success to be like the best plant parent ever. I'm gonna look for a hanging plant first, something to put in a hanging planter. We have a cork planter. I'm gonna pull from the cork accents that Emma has in her home. Ooh, look at this. It has polka dots on it. So cute. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I usually go for a drapey plant, but I wanna go for something like a little unexpected. What do you think about this? Love it. A spider plant? Mm -hmm. Actually like the cutest little size. It'll fit perfectly too. Okay, floor plant. I already kind of know which floor plant we're going with. So I walked in and was like, this, this is it. This is the floor plant. It just looks quirky and different. Definitely something you'd see in Emma's home. And also it matches so well to the spider plant. What are we gonna name this one? Jackie. Jackie! Okay, into it. Jackie's up front, lying down, taking a nap. We're gonna head back to the studio and I will see you guys on prep day on Monday. Good morning guys, it is Monday. We are here at Elena's and we're gonna start unboxing. There's a lot of stuff. This is the entryway. This is their TV setup. We are going to leave this exactly as is. We might mount the TV a bit higher. The art in here is already like very much Emma vibes. We love, we're gonna keep that. And then this gorgeous window, all that ornate molding. This goes into Elena's bedroom. We have to make sure that obviously all the furniture clears them so they can open, but yeah. I'm gonna unbox, disclaimer, you might see my light. Five, six, seven, eight. See my light. Anyways, small space. We gotta light it. You might see it popping in. Oh, no, I'm a bit. oh. <laughs> you don't see it now though. I'm just saying they might see it. No, no. I'm gonna be on my lighting game. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Amanda, the COO, momager, gaffer, videographer, model. The list goes on. Okay, I'm gonna start unboxing. I want to shout out these planters because they are handmade in Canada, just outside of Toronto actually. They're amazing. I have a pot like this at my house, the pink one, and the one at the studio. Okay, you can open. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is my drill. Makita makes pink ones too. Isn't that Van Gogh or something? Van Gogh. Okay. Gogh. That's nice. It's just like cinnamon. Next, we are switching up this fan for a more modern fixture. I noticed that a few of Emma's fixtures have these globes on them. So we thrifted this light, which is similar. It has lots of globes on it, but it also feels kind of modern and also 70s. So it's kind of a blend of those two styles. And I just think it looks so perfect in this living room. I love this light so much. I can't believe we thrifted this, it's like brand new. This was the wall I envisioned the shoe cabinet to be on. And then we're gonna put the divider behind so that this becomes like hallway and this becomes the entryway area. 
So we're bringing in the finished shoe cabinet and room divider. I want to fill you guys in on how Graham actually made the divider because this is a really easy DIY that you could do at home and like what a statement piece this is. So we wanted to make this project as like cost effective as possible. So we went for a pine plywood. Elena's ceiling height was eight and a half feet tall. Sheets of plywood come in eight foot length. So we put a small border of solid pine wood on the perimeter of the sheet to not only increase the length of the plywood, but also to act as sort of like an edge banding and give the plywood a finished look. Graham attached the edge banding with wood glue and a brad nail gun. Using the height and the width of the board, Graham determined that the holes had to be six inches from the top and bottom and spaced two and a half inches apart from one another. Graham mapped out where the center point of each hole was going to be. We decided that the holes would be a four inch diameter and that the grid would be alternating rows of five holes and six holes. You could obviously do any diameter that you want for these holes, but four inches seemed the right size to me. Graham used a four inch hole saw attachment for a regular drill and carefully cut out each hole. When you're doing this, be sure that you score the wood first by reversing the drill's direction. When you're cutting the hole, be sure to keep the drill as straight as possible so that the holes are square to the sheet of plywood. After the holes are cut, Graham gave the inside of the holes a sand with 80 grit sandpaper. Using a router and a round over router bit, Graham rounded the edges of each hole front and back to give them a more gentle and finished appearance. Graham then went over the entire sheet and all the holes with an 80 to 220 grit sandpaper. We decided to stain it with red oak stain and sealed it with lacquer. We wanted to match the wood tones in Emma's space as closely as we could. So now that Graham is done with the room divider, it's time to move on to the shoe cabinet. Now Graham made this entire shoe cabinet from scratch and he really based it off the Ikea Hemnes unit. We wanted to be able to stain it the same red oak stain as the room divider, but I would encourage you all to just repurpose a Hemnes unit. This DIY is a lot more involved, but if you do want the step-by-step -step instructions, we will have them up on our memberships page on YouTube. Just a reminder, this is bonus exclusive content. So if you want to be become a friend of Team AG, you can just hit that join button beside the subscribe button. We wanted to make sure that these two pieces could be taken apart so that if Will and Elena move, they maybe want to use each piece separately, they could do so. To do this, we are using pocket holes and screws to secure the cabinet to the divider. We're adding a few L brackets for extra support. Now that these pieces are secured together, it's time to actually mount this thing. First, Graham is mounting this bracket that he made onto the ceiling. For the bracket, Graham made a little track out of the same pine wood as the edge banding. And the idea is that the room divider just slides in place. You'll see that the room divider and the shoe cabinet are being held in place by the tension of being like sandwiched in that bracket. Nice. nice. High five. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God. This is so cool, functional, and like it really, really feels like this is an entryway now and this is the living space. We are securing these chains so that the shoe cabinets fold open nicely and don't like fall. <laughs> what a productive day. I will see you guys tomorrow, reveal day. How excited is everyone? So excited. Stoked. Stoked. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> it is reveal day. Very excited to get this space complete because right now it feels like there's not a lot going on. We did complete the divider yesterday, which looks so good. I walked in here and I was like, this feels like a totally different space. Before I actually unroll the rug, I'm gonna unveil the sofa. Oh my goodness. It's so long. Like, I feel like we could fit all of Team AG on the sofa. Well, all of the team AG that's here today. I think we could do it. This is from Article, absolutely stunning. 
it is rug time. So ruggable rugs come with this pad and it's the rug on top that you stick onto the pad that you can clean. So Elena can put it in the wash. They have a dog, so this is perfect. These pads are so grippy. It keeps your rug from shifting around. Like it's, you can't move it. <laughs> like that, exactly. This rug is so perfect. It is literally the same. Well, it's not literally the same. It's the same look as the one that Emma has in her dining room. We're bringing back the sofa, placing it on top of the rug. Look at these colors together. It's so good. Next up, side tables. I'm so excited to show you guys these. These are from Buclair. Not only do these act as a side table, but they also have this poof that slides in and then they can pull these out for extra seating. So good. We love a dual purpose piece of furniture. Okay, so next I'm hanging sconces. You'll notice that there's no like box to hardwire these into the ceiling. So we're gonna do a little hack. So we've installed the bracket as if they were gonna be hardwired up on the ceiling. We've done many a puck light hack on the channel. And usually we have to glue the puck light to this piece, which fits into the socket. But Graham actually came across a two in one. So it has this piece and the puck light all as one item. And the thing I really love about these is that they're a bit stronger than your typical puck light. So they're gonna give off a nice glow beside the sofa. Of course these come with a remote. And you can put them on a timer, you can dim them, which is so cool. You can do warm, cool. These are from Matilda Goad, a UK-based company. If you live outside the UK and order these, you just wanna make sure you're getting parts that are compatible to the country you live in. We're bringing in that wicker material that's all over Emma's house and that wavy, cool shape. Next, I'm bringing in this coffee table from How Marie. Emma doesn't have this in her space. There's nothing really like it in her space, but I think after she sees this video, she's gonna buy it. Emma, link in the description. It's very cool. Today's the day that I might lose it. <laughs> I'm for once ready to shoot, so. Okay, that was like pure chaos for about 20 minutes, but we're ready. I did a quick change because I cannot get any paint on the sweater I was wearing. So I'm gonna paint over these white patches where we patched holes. Well, this has been painting with AG. Now she's gonna say, let's just paint the whole room. No. Not today. Should we paint the wall behind the TV? Lunch break. <sighs> I am now styling the shelves above the TV and I'm making the styling as eclectic and full as possible. I love that Elena and Will already had these shelves. I think they're perfect, so we definitely kept them up here. I'm just mixing and matching sculptural objects, vases, books, and just grouping things into little clusters. I'm also playing with lots of height and colors, which is key to any shelf styling. I love this chair. So statement, but also really comfy. Like really, really comfy. A tip for when you are laying out your living room setup, just like this, you wanna make sure that your lounge chairs are both on the rug. You don't want them hanging off the rug or the space will feel a lot smaller than it actually is. So I love how this really, again, separates the living room space from that little entry we've created. Looks so good. So yesterday when I walked into Lena and Will's space, I was so excited to see this print because this is very much Emma's style. I feel like she has a painting like this somewhere in her home. So I'm gonna hang it up. I'm gonna repurpose it, reuse it in the space. The only issue is that you can see some of the border of the print here. And on the back, it's like totally taped up and sealed. And it looks like there's nails holding it all together at the back. I'm not gonna touch it. I guess it just adds to like the quirk, you know? The quirk and the charm of the space. I want to change something. I was thinking maybe I bring the mirror down and put it on this wall. That's funny, I was thinking that. I swear to God, because I was thinking... It's a little empty. That's cool. That's cool. It's like a fun house. Your face is so wonderful. <laughs> Adding in this mirror from my fave mirror retailer, Mirror Home Decor Art. Cute, I love this mirror. So fun. Again, like really defining the entryway. To take it one step further, we're gonna add some hooks. 
So this plant is literally from Emma's house. Like we we went to Emma's house and we we got the plant. I'm just kidding. But you would totally find this in her house. And we've named her Jacqueline. Next, I'm putting the handles on the shoe cabinet. Nice. Nice. Now it is time for the finishing touches. Hanging the spider plant we got from Jomo in a cork hanging planter by the window. Adding a cactus plant they already had on the windowsill. Placing this wavy bowl on the side table. How cool is this? Placing books and a candle on the other side table. Who reads books? Styling the sofa with cushions with a lot of earthy tones. Emma has some mustard cushions in her home, so we wanted to play off that. Placing this runner in the entryway. Hanging a jacket on the hook. Placing these coasters, which Emma has on her coffee table, and a vase with branches. Even the branches in this space are twisty and squiggly and just like very organic. Lastly, putting art on the TV from Vintage Art TV on YouTube. And now it is time to bring Elena and Will in for the reveal. Are you guys excited? So Nervous. excited. <laughs> Nervous, excited, all of it. Okay, Elena, can you walk me through what the living room looked like before? Yeah, it was very like mismatched furniture and it was pretty dark yeah. and just kind of cluttered. We didn't really know what to do. It just needed some TLC. We used Emma's stunning space as inspiration. Hopefully created like a cozy, warm space for you guys to hang. Are you ready on the count of three? Yeah. Very One, <laughs> two, three. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh! This is insane. This does not look like... What? Wow. I'm actually speechless. My heart. <laughs> my heart is racing so fast. I feel like I'm in a hotel this room. Oh my god. Amazing. Actually, like, I'm so speechless. This is so nice. Oh this god. is way as surprising as my expectations. Oh, yeah. Not that I doubted you guys. No, I know, but Blows it's like, away. it's insane. to see the like behind the scenes of how this was made because it's just so good. It's wow. so good. I wow. I'm wow, obsessed. Wow, 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 wow. I just cannot wait to like lounge here and just stay oh, here I'm for so forever. Glad. I had so much fun putting this Emma Chamberlain inspired space together. Please let me know which celebrities space you'd like to see me take info from in the next AG versus AD down in the comments. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah. Who's Emma? Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain. Who's Emma? Do you know who Emma Chamberlain is? She no. doesn't. Uh, anyway. Love you, AG.